Look, look I, I think Argentina, I, I don't really think Mark, I thought Argentina played very well in that game. I mean, as Marcella says, <laughs> so, she sounds you know, rightly bemused. Poland didn't seem to do anything. It didn't do anything in that football match, did they? No, I, I think that that will have helped Argentina um, look as good as they did. The fact that um, their opponents were so passive and offered just zero threat. And, you know, I think if there is, you know, a weakness, I suppose, to the Argentinian team, and we saw Saudi Arabia expose it, um, you know, that they're, I, I think you can sort of run beyond them, uh, uh, you know, if you're brave enough to, to put people into those positions. But Poland... Uh, never attempted um, that once and um, actually got more, def- in a weird way, got more defensive the further they went behind, um, g- g- given the, the nature of the group. I would like to see it settled on shots on target, I think, as a, a, a better way. Uh, I know, uh, obviously, Troy and a few others have got their own definition, though, of what a shot on target uh, might mean. But at least that does, uh, to some extent, encourage attacking play. Um, True. Whereas, whereas with, with a yellow card, I mean, some referees... Are, are far more, um, you know, uh, easy with the yellow cards than what other people are. So it can come down to the luck of, you know, how um, rash your referee is as well. Yeah, I, I mean, I like the idea of, you know, you need three more shots on target. So people are just absolutely launching it from anywhere. <laughs> just, to, you know, just like, you know, just on P-rolling it. Just make sure, hit the target, Jeff. Doesn't matter. Within that game, I mean, that the, the big moment, I mean, the, the sort of controversial moment, John, was the penalty decision, which I think, like everybody, I was like, well, that is never a penalty in a million years. I can't, Messi's gone down like a ton of bricks. Chesney's barely touched him. And then just sort of, as I sort of, as, the, as my evening progressed, I started thinking maybe it is a foul because no. Messi's got the ball and Chesney's punched him in the face. Not, not a lot. And someone said, tweet me saying, you've taken 44 minutes for that VAR decision, which is quite a long time. But are we, are we not having it? Are we not saying Dale Johnson, ESPN and, you know, football laws man said yes. not a penalty. No, and, right. uh, and I would always bow down to, to Dale, uh, well, on that anyway. Uh, uh, it, yeah, it, it was, um, no, I mean, f- funny enough, when, when the way Messi went down, I thought, oh, we're in for a World Cup concussion controversy here. Messi with concussion. Uh, of course, he was fine because uh, Sir Chesney's fingernail had rushed against him in the act of reaching for the ball, the ball which he got to first. Um, and let's just say, um, if... Uh, I don't think that this. Okay, do you reckon VAR referees uh, up in the up in the gantry, up in uh, their version of uh, the the Uxbridge um, office that we have in the Premier League? Um, do you reckon they want to collect VAR decisions for big players? So it's like, oh, I gave right, them, okay, I, yeah. I gave a VAR for Messi. <laughs> Oh, do you know what? I gave one for Ronaldo. And yeah, then, right. you know, and then the, the one at the other end is thinking, oh, well, you know, it'd be just great if Lewandowski got in the box, but obviously that's not going to happen today. But, you know, <laughs> no, I could give him a decision. And they're sort of, you know, they're a group of uh, star fuckers, to call it, to, to call it any other way. Um, because I have, so, you know, um, and of course, Messi uh, uh, is uh, uh, has been an ambassador for this World Cup. Um, so... All these things add together, but mm. never a penalty, Jeff. Never Such a cynic, penalty. aren't you? I mean, I like I you called him. Yet. I like you called him Sir Chesney, which is obviously uh, Chesney Hawks was knighted after his halftime yes, performance yeah. uh, in the England game yesterday. Uh, when, when Messi missed that penalty, Marcelo, did you think, "Oh, here we go"? I'm worried, or were you pretty relaxed for the whole? No, thing? no, very much, very worried, and it was every every minute of all of this three games. And the space in between, space, time, dimension in between, has been like a, a communal psychological trip among the <laughs> entire country. I can't even <laughs> explain how this is happening, but you know, and and the bench and the players. There was a rather lovely kind of Proustian piece the other day saying those those tears from the manager and his assistants were well, the, the sign we needed to know that we're that they're feeling it with us and we're all we're all together. I did I didn't think it was a penalty, neither did one of my brothers. I mean debate going on here, but we were like, yeah, keep them coming. We didn't think our first penalty was a penalty either. But had he scored, it was like we weren't, we weren't gonna do a Bielsa and give it back. Yeah. <laughs> But um, it was, yeah, I, I don't think we were quite as tense, though, because the play was good. You know, the playmaking was good. They seemed calmer. 
you know, my my young boys that I like to mention every time we speak. Of course. And so and Julian were, were good. They were, Julian Alvarez was terrific, in fact. And um, so there was not, not so much nerves. We did lose the internet connection for a couple of minutes at one point, and that did look like it might be the end of <laughs> family life and perhaps the neighbourhood, because I was about to climb over the garden wall and just sit and sit on the neighbour's settee. But, uh, yeah, it, I don't know. I mean, there's now going to be like a, a new wave of euphoria, obviously, and the fact that we're facing Australia might even... Uh, give us again that kind of slightly over over confident underestimation of the opponent mm. thing. So we may just be in a loop. We may just go through this over <laughs> well, and over and over. As long as you keep winning, it's probably but fine, hey, isn't it? For it? Yeah, I mean, you do think, Mark. And we'll get to Australia in in part two, but. Even though Argentina don't seem as vintage Argentina as perhaps I thought they were at the start of the tournament that they will Australia shouldn't be a problem for them shouldn't I mean I, I would say that Harry Souter would be um, far uh, far more better suited to taking on Cornelius of Denmark than he is Messi <laughs> and Alvarez of, of Argentina with his, his style of play I mean Argentina have ended up in a really nice part of, of the draw haven't they because um, you know Australia would be um, the weakest team left in the competition at the moment in terms of those that are through. And then if, if they do win that, Netherlands have not shown up at all so far, or USA. So I think that, the, you know, the draw has opened up nicely for Argentina from where they were just over a week ago and, and losing to Saudi Arabia to, to suddenly be in this position, to have found their rhythm as well. You know, Messi's playing well. It looks like Scaloni has found, I think, a better balance to the team. He was searching for that early on, but... Um, you sort of, you know, Fernandez coming in and, and Alvarez has already been mentioned. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, everything looks really positive now for Argentina. I still would worry about their defence when it comes, you know, at the the very highest level. But it it looks like they could get through the next couple of games without actually being overly tested. I was actually quite impressed with them, Max, uh, this evening, even though it was against a completely non-existent team. But uh, and. We haven't talked about the main man yet. Messi was absolutely magnificent tonight. Marcela, I was, I, I thought you would be jumping in from you know the the shrubbery at the background there. <laughs> You'd be jumping out saying yes, absolutely. No, he was absolutely magnificent today. No, I did, but I muted my mic. But absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> magnificent, and he was consistently magnificent. Yes. Um, Missing a penalty or, you know, shot at goal that doesn't uh, go in is a detail. He was consistently the best of himself. And I think um, that that's just great because I think there's a sense in which everybody wants Messi to win the World Cup. Not even Argentina, but just Messi and even opponents or, you know, random people that aren't Argentinian. And I just keep hearing this phrase, he should win it. But I think if he doesn't win it, and yet he bows out playing like he did today, then that would just be amazing as well. You know, what 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 would be sad is a really bad game or an injury or a, a career cut short somehow. But today was like a it was just glorious. It was it was really lovely actually. I haven't enjoyed a football match as much for ages. And I think, I mean, I'm obviously totally biased, but I think I might have said that even if I wasn't <laughs> an, an Argentinian surrounded by the Argentinian gods that might strike me for saying otherwise. Mm. I mean, you probably wouldn't have said it if you were a Pole, and that would be my, 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 my first reaction. 